A ceviche is probably the quickest cooking method because it uses just a little bit of acid from citrus to slightly begin a cooking process on the bass. Now, this bass, I thought there's no better way to really enjoy the flavor and the texture of it than to serve it partially raw. I've got a few simple ingredients here, starting with fresh cilantro. Then you'll see I've got peaches. Now, the peaches, what I'm going to do is just simply slice off very thin thin cheeks and those little cheeks of that thinly sliced peach those become the carriers for the ceviche. So there's no need to have a spoon out here. You just grab some fresh fruit and that'll be the perfect way to serve it. That'll bring the sweet. Now I've got a little bit of fresh jalapeno and always a little bit of finely diced onion. The last thing I'm going to incorporate is a little bit of ginger. Ginger is gonna bring some sweetness and another level of heat. Those things together are gonna to make the perfect bite out here in this beautiful wilderness. Ginger is great because it kind of comes with its own packaging. All you have to do is break off a piece and then use a knife or even a spoon to simply scrape off that outer flesh. That's what you want to get off just before you start to shred it. For something as delicate and refined as a ceviche, you don't want to have big chunks of the stem from the fresh cilantro. So just take a minute and harvest the leaves, pressing them with your finger and nail and just pinching them. Or you can use a pair of scissors. Either way, make sure to get those big tough stems out. You can see how beautifully white this smallmouth bass is. Those fillets, they look like Dover sole. And all I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna run a nice thin slice. I want nice bite-sized pieces. The other thing I'm doing at this point is I'm making sure there's no bones left. I wanna make absolutely certain nobody gets a bone. I actually just found one right there. Take and toss that away. Even slices, and then what I do is I'll double this back and literally just begin slicing this into nice little bite-sized cubes, perfect for the ceviche. Traditionally, you use lime, so you always use the juice, and often I see recipes that don't use the zest. Now, I'm gonna be using grapefruit because I love the flavor and the zest that comes off grapefruit. Well, it is just perfect. I think these bass are gonna love it. One of the most important things with ceviche is seasoning. Now, if you like it a little more spicy, then add more jalapeno and ginger. And the most important thing is to make sure that you get the right salt. So I've got a salt here that we got that's taken right out of the hills of West Virginia from Malden. This is gonna be something that makes it pop. Remember, it needs about 10 minutes inside that beautiful little marinade for it to actually begin cooking. But the best part is taking a scoop of this. And remember those peach slices. I'm gonna take and make myself a nice little peach taco. Are you kidding me right now? This is gonna be the perfect bite for a shore lunch. Mm. There you go, buddy. Still more cheese. Okay. I'm going to make another one here. That is so good. Isn't that great? Oh, my. Oh, wow. Oh. Fish tastes oh. really clean. You don't taste that. No. Mm -hmm. They're fresh. They're caught today. Mm. I really thought as far as the shore lunch goes, fried fish would be my favorite. I now have good. a new go-to. And really, it wasn't too difficult for you to do. No. I mean, if you think about it, you could have grabbed this, a grapefruit, an onion, a jalapeno, and a little spot of coriander. That's all you would toss that in the bag, and you've got ceviche on the river at any point. Sorry, buddy, there the you go. One. Oh, oh, look at that. that. Oh. oh. Yeah. Is that incredible or what? That is I didn't good. Know what <laughs>